We have now plenty of uh, data, early data, on the use of uh, immunotherapy. Uh, we know that we have one CAR T cell therapy that is available in the US, probably very soon in Europe as well. IDA cell, uh, CAR T targeting BCMA, that is a very active, but the patient population that will be able to receive IDA cell in the near future in Europe. And we already have some compassionate use programs uh, in France, Germany, Austria soon. Um, patients will be refractory to IMID, to PIs, and to the CD38 antibodies. So very advanced patients. And we have heard that the median progression for survival at the target dose of 450 million of CAR -Ts, the median PFS is 12 months, and the median overall survival is two years. So that's one CAR T, and the second one will be probably available uh, in at the end of 2022 or 2023. Silta cell, and Silta cell is probably more effective, targeting BCMA as well, uh, and preliminary data are showing outstanding PFS and also probably a very, very long overall survival in uh, very advanced patients. And then we have also the uh, bispecific antibodies that are currently developed with different targets, not only BCMA, but also GPRC5D, for example, and others. But we have only phase 1-1-2 studies uh, with a short follow-up. The response rate in patients triple-class refractory, refractory to PI imids and CD38 antibodies, uh, the response rate seems to be very good, in fact. Uh, these agents are interesting, high response rate, something like 70%, but they are off the shelf, immediately available, and that's a big difference as compared with CAR T cell therapy. The development is a sub-Q formulation as well, that is quite convenient for the patients, and they will, propose, they will be proposed until progression on a weekly schedule, and we know that the uh, safety profile is rather good, uh, so, good efficacy, safety profile adequate. We can also propose these agents to uh, elderly patients, but we need uh, a, a large phase two with a long follow-up before uh, the approval of either teclistamab, talquetamab or others that are currently uh, in the development. So, we have to wait a little bit.